I'm Anthony Angel. I fight out of Silvis, Illinois. I'm trained in wrestling. I dress for four years. I love go to ground. I also love to stand and feet. I'm Jonathan the Dream Thompson. I uh, train actually with a uh, few guys. Uh, I set training camp up in the middle of nowhere, so I'm not bothered, no distractions, no nothing. I know I watched him fight back in December last summer against Anthony Nachi. Looked like a pretty good fight there. Looks like it's something I need to push my career on with. So a good win be nice here. And I used to train with a guy that beat him on uh, Tiadre Owens. And uh, me and Tiadre did some pretty good battles in wrestling. And so I, I just like to feel wherever it goes. I don't care where it goes. If it goes to the ground, it goes to the ground. If we stand, we stand. I fought Tiadre last December as well. It was a tough fight, good wrestler. He taught me what I needed to work on, get ground defense better. And not everyone's just going to go down easily. I want him to think what's he getting himself into, should he have really taken the fight. Because if he's seen the last video or if he was even there, he's seen that uh, I can stand, I can go to the ground, I throw knees. I feel pretty good about my career right now. I mean, I've had 23 fights and only lost three of them, so feeling pretty confident and just coming off a win here back in July as well. Just push me forward. Let's, I'm just ready to put on a show for the Galesburg fans and hopefully build a bigger following. I've been not doing this very long, but I've been doing it everywhere I have possible. Thank you for supporting me and following me. his way to the cage tonight in our third fight of the night, Anthony Angel out of Silvis, Illinois, with a record of 20 and 3. I know we've talked before. When you've got 20 wins and 3 losses, this is not your uh, first day at the park. No, this isn't This isn't the first dance for you. This is something that you obviously are dedicated to and you know you want to make a career out of. So, I, man, I'm expecting big things out of him. We've seen him fight before. Uh, we know that he comes at you real fast at the beginning. Um, but with 20 wins and 3 losses, he knows how to settle down when he needs to. Uh, there's no rust at all. He's very comfortable in there, and I think that's what we've seen before, and that's what uh, his opponent's got to be worried about tonight. Right, he's been very effective. Um, it, it's kind of interesting when you see these guys come in, and they've had so much experience. Making his way to the cage, Jonathan Thompson. And uh, one thing that stuck out to me when he was talking in his interview, he said he's got his camp in the middle of nowhere. And I know the guys that have done that before, in, even in the UFC at top levels like Brock Lesnar, when they've got their camps in the middle of nowhere. Those guys are beasts, man. They come out, they're not around any family and friends. They seclude themselves, nobody's time to fight. They just unleash all havoc. And I think uh, I'm excited to see that tonight. Yeah, that has to be the ultimate, you know, focus. You know, you don't have anything distracting you. Nobody's there. Everything is about this upcoming fight. So you wouldn't have, you know, your family in your ear. You don't have, you know, grandma telling you to pick her up some uh, cookies from the store. You uh, just focus, 100% focus, ready to go. All you're thinking about is how you're going to beat your opponent. And on top of that, uh, he is just fresh off of Cage Regression 7 only a month ago. Wanted to get back in there in Galesburg. Uh, so to me, his body, you know, sometimes it takes longer than a month to recover from the last fight. He was in a five-round war with Jeremy Anderson, so I know he's still got some bumps and bruises. He's back in tonight. Now, that says a whole lot. Oh, yeah, definitely has the heart of a warrior. You, you know, you're not taking any time. You're just ready to get back on it.
Count by contact, start to side, Xavier the Tony, Extreme Great Dreamers, and Xavier Hyperman. Joining us from Minneapolis, Iowa, is the current Anderson, your referee for Caged Aggression 8's third fight of the night between Anthony Angel and Jonathan Thompson. Jonathan Thompson will be coming out in the pink shorts. Already landed a kick. Did, did Thompson, I think I remember him doing that a lot in Cage Aggression oh, yeah, 7. Definitely. Throwing a lot definitely. of kicks early on, getting the range, and he already found it, it seems like. And there was a little bit of a clash of heads there, too. I know that can really throw things off, especially at the beginning of a fight like that. Big kick comes Strong through. with those kicks. And that's and that's something that you, when well, we are talking about the 20 and 3, it's it's kick for kick. That's something you're learning in training. When you get it, you, you receive it. You receive one, you give one right back. Angel and half guard right now looking to push the knee down and get in the full mount. Uh, almost there right now, but kind of caught in the guillotine. Right, that's a tough one to get out of, but he should have the experience to know exactly what he needs to do, just like that. And right there, too, knee on belly is extremely uncomfortable, and he knows exactly what to do right now. Gets in the full mount and uh, looking to, tr to trap an arm or to do something as far as to take his back now. Now I wouldn't be surprised if he starts peppering up a little bit, but trying to get in a... Uh, Sneak that arm in for the rear naked choke. Got both hooks in. This is really textbook right now. What he's right, doing to right, and you can tell both of these fighters have been in the game for a long time. You know, nobody looks like they're freaking out. They're just trying to figure out what they're going to do to get the advantage. Right, and he's a little high right now. So what you're going to see a top to do is try to shake him off, uh, but falls into an armbar himself. When you're doing that, you've got to be really careful when you try to shake an opponent off that they don't fall on the side like he did right there. Right now, what should he do to try to get out his armbar? Right now is is. You kind of go to your side and try to pull your arm out, or he could just completely lift him up and dump him. That's what you see people do right now. And right there is how he's trying to go around the world. I uh, see his left leg. Keep going around and spin around. You can pop your arm right out. Right. Just keep on going around. He'll have to jump over right there. Perfect, perfect job of doing that. Right there, looking for a knee bar and, or to trap the leg. He's got a perfect position. See how he just sat down on him there? It's really showing a great ground skill right there. And almost has him in an arm bar now. Got him, he has him, got in, him in the arm bar. And he does well with, and Angel does well with hopping back over. So you've really got a uh, skillful jujitsu fight right now going on. Yeah, both these guys, this isn't their first go around. No, they, they know what they're doing. Exactly. And this looks like this is going to be one of those technical fights that I really enjoy. You know, it's not, you know, yeah, they're not standing up. They're not beating each other's brains out. But you can really see technique in fights like this. And you notice Thompson's never flat on his back. He's on his sides, um, which is awesome to be on, to do. Using the cage to kick off. Um, right there, goes to his knees, but tries to escape right away. And, and Angel just hops on his back right away. Tries to shake him off, right, like, like we said earlier. This is really, I mean, this is an awesome clinic right now. For anybody wanting to get into MMA and wondering if, you know, if jiu-jitsu or stand-up's the route to go, if you're thinking about jiu-jitsu, that first round, uh, you really need to go back and watch. And people oftentimes talk about, you know, the fans in Knoxville and, you know, how it is in Knoxville. But if you could hear right there, there was a pretty good round of applause for that first round because they know, they've seen fights. This isn't the first time, you know, we've been here. They know exactly what, what they're seeing right there. They know when... You know, you got two great technical fighters in the ring. Exactly. That's something you're seeing a lot more of, too, is you get the claps for escapes, and you get them for the little things where maybe 10 years ago you, they were getting boos. Um, now the fans know how to get out of things, and, and you saw it right there. Right. I think that's just a natural progression of the sport. You know, people back then didn't really know exactly what was going on, and they just wanted to see people get their brains knocked in. But more people now, you know, your casual fan knows when, you know, something like that is going on and you have – uh, a great or two great technical fighters in the ring so they they stand up and they cheer for that as well exactly now after knowing that each fighter the first round we'll see uh, i'm very curious to see if they go right back into trying to take each other down or they you know play around uh, and stand up a little bit right both these guys look like they're in very good shape so i'm guessing that cardio isn't going to be really an issue exactly. for them either 
we go with round two. Show of respect and uh, starts off, Thompson starts off with the kicks again, trying to get that range. Lands a big one right there. Ooh, a knee right to the, to the chin almost. He does real well with that tie palm and just pulls the head down and throws the knees. Angel looking for the single leg right now. Does well scrambling. Thompson does a good job scrambling, trying to keep him so he doesn't uh, get back on top. Right. Both of these guys, though, it seems like once they get down, they're both really slippery. Like, they, they know how to get out of situations. Exactly. Oh, it's a scramble. With jiu-jitsu, you've got one or two seconds. That can be the end of the fight, or it can keep you continuing on. So these guys know exactly where to, where to scramble out and which position to get into. Right now, Thompson was caught for a minute, but spins around to get, almost looking for a half mount right there, or side control, excuse me. It's kind of cool when you hear both of these guys, you know, their corners yell at them and tell them to do things, and they actually go out and execute them. That shows the importance of having a good corner and people that you trust. And, and, look, and Thompson right now looking for the arm triangle, needs to hop his body over to the right, just like it right there, but... Angel does a perfect job of spinning out of it. I mean, that was a, a finishing move right there if he would have continued that. Angel's got him in a big knee bar right now. Uh, when you do that, both fighters need to be careful. Still got him. Still, you know, being slippery, doing exactly. a good job of, you know, getting that arm free or that leg free. He stands up, which is a great defense move for that. Uh, but Angel looking for the scissor takedown right now to to keep him on the ground and does. I mean, he's, they're both back on the ground. Right, he has to watch out because that knee is definitely Still, torqued right, right now. He's, he's torqued right now, got a trap, foot trap too. I mean, they look, you know, there's a even a move called the gator roll, which is literally what he did right now is rolling around his stomach, you know, almost like alligators do. Thompson hops right in the full mount up against the cage, so this is a very dangerous position for Angel to be in right now. But if we've seen anything from Angel earlier, he'll probably figure out a way to get out of it. And right now, it's, I'm sure that Thompson's looking to trap an arm to get him away from the cage a little bit so he can't wall walk and use his feet. But uh, sometimes with here, when your arms are flailing around like Angel's are, you look to trap an arm and maybe do an Akim a Kimura or, or some sort of arm triangle. Angel took two big shots of the head right there. Looking for a sneak on the triangle right there from the bottom. It's, it's in the side for just There it is. Ooh. It was very sneaky. Um, as long as that arm's trapped, like, ready to go and pull the head down, and that's about a wrap. Should be tapping out pretty soon here. Still trying to pepper yep. the body, but he may he may go out when you got this. Yeah, it's tough. He's going to try to last the last few seconds of this round. Yeah, and what you can do is, I mean, right there, Angel's kind of caught. You can stand up, on. and he's saved by the bell, man. Wow. Wow. That's gutsy right there, though. You, I, I'm sure he probably heard that the, you know, the round was coming close to an end, so he said, man, I'm just going to try my best to hold on. Yeah, and sometimes uh, you can do that, or the, uh, the opposite of that is then you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would kind of suck if you just woke up. You know, and it's like and it's the thing over. where, you know, when you're training and you want to you wanna take it and last as long as you can, and I'm not going to tap, I'm not going to tap, but it's, it's a matter of seconds, man. It's a weird game to play. Right. That has to be difficult to know when you should, you know, really tap, which is, in essence, giving up. And, you know, you just, I think it goes against a lot of what, you know, people are, are training to do. And you don't want to just be that person that, that taps and gives up. But, man, sometimes you have to to avoid, you know, getting injured or having something else happen to you that you don't want to have happen. Exactly, and I think with these two guys, we've seen the first two rounds, it's gonna take, you know, a lot more than a traditional triangle or an arm bar for them to tap. I mean, you're really gonna have to work for this win. It's been a tremendous first, second round, so I'm looking forward to this third round right now. Oh yeah, both of these guys are definitely ready to get this third round going. Uh, a very good fight so far, very technical, so it'll be interesting to see who tries to take advantage of you know, in this final round. Kicks again coming from Thompson, right on his feet still. So like you said, cardio is not a problem. Angel shoots in right there and a great sprawl from Thompson. Really got his legs wide, looks to take his back. Mm, out. Uh, no hooks in quite yet, but working to get maybe at least one in. Angel doing a good job of shelling up too and not let, allowing any, but wow, just hops on right there, gets one hook in, and really, you know, I'll do that in a second. I mean, under two seconds, he gets that hook in. 
And now it just really starts, when you're in that position now, you really start to rain down shots like you're doing here. And, uh, yeah, it's really hard to protect yourself when you're in a position like Angel's that. Angel's not careful too. Uh, too many of those big shots from above, the, the referee will call the fight. Now looking to maybe pepper up face and He's uh, also got that arm. Yeah, yep. Got the arm. It's around the chin right now, so it's more of a pain position, not necessarily right. a submission. Uh, but tries to gain from the top. Angel staying nice and cool and calm as always. And here's what we were talking about of those undercuts sometimes when you go, uh, you, the shots you can't see coming, you know, when they come under the arm, right? Um, you really can't even defend yourself. That's a big one right there. These are huge shots coming now from Thompson. Yeah, he definitely has an advantage while he's on top like that. Angel needs to uh, go to his side, uh, try to, to buck him off from the bottom. It's, you know, he's limited in what he can do right now, but needs to do something. And definitely, like, his, his energy is waning. I mean, it has to be tough to have, you know, that much weight on your back for, you know, 30, 40 seconds at a time. That's like a rear naked arm triangle. I mean, that's like a hybrid finishing <laughs> position right there. Thompson almost is going to get caught in an arm bar. Uh, does a great job spinning out. Now he's on, he's got his back. So this fight's been going back and forth. I mean, this is exactly what was happening a minute ago, just in reverse. So it's, it's still anybody's game right now. It's anybody's fight. Right, it's, a, it's a third round. It's a, it's a toss up, been completely even so far. Thompson's got a good shot right there for some elbows, right there, right on the side. Um, ribs are wide open. There you go. Yeah. And those shots register at this point in the fight. Oh, yeah, definitely. Inside control right there again. Hot, spins it around for full mount again. Uh, now just really lays all his weight down on him. And I mean, that's almost a move in its own. I know Roy Nelson's got the, the Buddha where you just lay your weight on and you almost smother the guy. And now Thompson's doing a great job uh, raining down some shots, looking to get that arm. I'm sure fatigue is definitely coming to play at this point in the fight, too. Great end of the fight. All right, Thompson really dom dominated that third round, too. And that, you know, that may be all he needed right there. He really stole the end of that round. And in right. the judge's eyes, uh, that sometimes, you know, you judge on the last thing you remember. And both of these guys, you know, showing each other respect because they know. <laughs> you know if you fought that many times when you fight and face somebody who's very evenly matched. And then you, even that situation, what we're looking at right now, is that you see uh, Thompson still Looks like he's got some pep in his step. Angel uh, hunched over a little yeah, bit, and that may, you know, tell the story right there. Right, right, right. As we wait for the uh, announcement of the winner, I know that there's only been three fights, but that's got my vote for five of the night so oh, far. Definitely, definitely. Big shout out to Mike Goodwin for, you know, setting up two very evenly uh, matched fighters. It has to be tough when you fought all that time. You know, you just kind of stand in there waiting to see what happens. Exactly. You know, and it's just it's when you leave it in the judges' hands, like we said before. You know, even though one. You see one thing, they may have seen something else, and this is where some of the controversy comes into play. If you know the guy you thought was going to win, the other guy does. So um, it's, it's never a clear cut shot of who won. Right. Split decision win over Anthony Angel at Cage Aggression 8 Heavy Hitters.